The topic for this week is craft an irresistible value proposition. So Suzanne, welcome to the weekly video. Hey, what's up? This is going to be a good one today. I'm excited. It's going to, it's going to be a good one. So, so why don't you kick us off? I love the term value proposition mm -hmm. because a lot of people talk about that. And I don't know if everybody else knows what that is, but crafting an irresistible is a great word. And I've got some thoughts around it naturally, but, uh, and I know we often detour off into other subjects as well during this uh, 45 minutes to an hour, but uh, tell me your thoughts around it and how you see that. Well, number one, it, it has to speak directly to your ideal client. So whatever you're proposing, whether it's, you know, working together or a collaboration or even asking someone for a favor, it, it has to be valuable to the other person. And I think this is missed a lot out there in the marketplace. Um, when you're talking about yourself to other people, doesn't matter so much what you do. It matters who you do it for and what, what change is going to happen for that other person, whether it's solving a problem or, you know, uh, a solution to something like it has to be for that other person. And if you don't know how to speak that, it just kind of sounds like you're speaking to everyone and that might be why you're not getting the engagement or the clients that you're looking for. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, I, I really think it's interesting, again, value proposition and the offer, whatever it is, an irresistible offer. Uh, something that's really hit me in the last few years is, and I'd love your thoughts on this as well, is there's this idea of give your best, valuable, most important content that you possibly can. The newest cutting edge, anything you've ever, any research you've done or anything you're doing around uh, what you're teaching or coaching, 